St. Paul, Minnesota. Remix! Hey everyone, welcome to episode 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of Story Sundays. As I've been... Who the hell is Danny Glass? Uh, hello? Hey, what's up, bitch? Uh, nothing. I'm a little busy right now. Why? What's up with you? Uh, shut up. Uh, shut up. Don't look up. Uh, I'm coming over. I'll be there in like five minutes. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't come over. I'm at the studio right now. I'm filming something. Just don't. Bad. No, seriously, don't. Please. Oh, God. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. Um, that's just totally unexpected, completely unprofessional. I'm so sorry about it. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, the the story. Excuse me. Oh, hey, Danny. Woo! What are we doing? Uh, nothing. Just, um, telling a story you want to, uh, yeah, absolutely. sit down? Hey, everybody. Um, everyone, this is, uh, Danny Glass. Hey. Welcome hey, to the everyone. show, sir. I, Thank you. That was weird. Can we do it this? was weird. Yes. Thank you. Let's do that. As long as you're here, you want to uh, tell a story with me? Sure. What story? Is it legal to talk about Halloween 2004? Uh, legal, no. I'd have to check the Constitution again. Okay. I don't think so, though. I wouldn't do it. How Would about... you be too embarrassed about Labor Day 2012? Oh, God. Or can you put that on the air? I will never look at an octopus the same way again. I don't think we should do that one. What about the time you and I started watching Parks and Rec? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. J-Term 2013. Yeah, I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah. You were, what, taking a class? I was. I was taking Stats 220 mm -hmm. at the University of St. Thomas. Uh-huh. I was uh, at the bookstore. You were. We were both living in Flynn. Yes. We just, we watched Netflix. I think one of us said to the other one that we had heard it was a good show. Mm -hmm. and... and then we just watched it. Uh, long story short, over the three weeks of J-Term, mm -hmm. um, we watched every episode until the current date. Yeah. Which was like, <laughs> how many At that time, it was four seasons worth. Of like what, probably 15 to 20 episodes each? Yeah, mm -hmm. something so like that. So we watched roughly 60 to 80 episodes yeah. of Parks and Rec in mm -hmm. about 20 days? Yeah. Good for us. Hell of a, Hell of a life. <laughs> but then we kind of continued that into the spring semester, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, I think we did. I and think Thursday nights <clears throat> or after, if we couldn't make it work, we right. ended up watching. Right. That brought us to Ben and Leslie's wedding. I think if I remember right, I might have posted some ridiculous status on Facebook that said, like, I was so excited for the wedding that I might actually consider dressing up for it. Let's take a look at that status. Okay. Oh. And then we uh, we actually did dress and then, up. Yeah, and then there were some conversations, and we actually decided to have a wedding party. We looked good. We did. Like, really good. Yeah, there was there was even, I even brought a wine glass over. Sure did. Filled with water, but, you know, it's beside the point. All right, let's take a look at that picture, though. Yeah. Because we were so dressed up, I felt like we were just part of the wedding itself. Yeah, it was it was like 
You know those ads when you go to IMAX movies and it says, watch a movie or be a part of one? It was it was a lot like that. Like, we were actually there. Like, you know that um, that scene where the four people are sitting and then their seats turn into a forest? Yeah. And then everything kind of goes around? That's what oh, we were like. That's exactly yep. what it was like. So after the wedding, um, we went home and stayed pretty much with the lives of the Pawneeans. Yeah, we felt like we were a part of it. We mm -hmm, actually... Absolutely. We were able to... Well, we, no. You were able to communicate with them at some point. I did. Towards the middle or middle of the last yep. season when uh, Ann Perkins and Chris Traeger... <sighs> Literally... The two best characters that that show has ever seen. Sadly departed Pawnee. Um, Jerry Gergich, um, posing under the alias of Jim O'Hare, tweeted that uh, it was a very, very sad day on the set and that he wished that he could get uh, Ann and Chris to stay. And so I tweeted to him that he could screw up all their takes like Jerry, Gary, Larry, Wood. And uh, Jerry responded and told me it was a wonderful idea. Unfortunately, Jerry, Larry, Gary could not screw up as much as he already had. And they kept the show going and... Without them. And Chris and Ann left. It and we all cried. Literally. Has not been the same since. And then you heard from the uh, the producers of Parks and Rec. And then, yes, then one day there was an incident where Ron Swanson started hiding bacon in the ceiling of his office. And Classic I, Ron Swanson. Yeah, move. I, I thought it was an ingenious idea. So I tweeted something that I was going to start hiding bacon in the ceiling. Whoever runs Pawnee, maybe their college intern April or something, decided to tweet me back and was like, She's be careful adorable. about that. We've alerted Ron. She is adorable. Mm -hmm. Kind of a swing type Excuse situation. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, <clears throat> Punny. Great place. It is a great place. Great people. So they got married. It was a good time. And uh, we still live in Pawnee today. We do. Say, um, since we're. Since it's a little bit late, I'm a little hungry. Um, there's this new restaurant called Tom's Bistro. Would you want to go grab lunch quick? No, I'm good. I gotta go. See ya. Thanks. Hurt just as much as the time my father abandoned my family. Oh, well. My thanks to Danny Glass... Uh, we'll be back in a couple weeks with another episode. We'll see you then. Let's take a look at that status. Okay. <laughs> God, Insert such, such a loser. Status. Who, me? Yeah. Oh. Keep going. Okay.